Elon Musk says that the speed of technology development is only getting faster, and that some things are maybe developing too fast. In the future, we will have video games so realistic that you won't be able to tell the difference between games and reality. From self-driving tunnel networks to brain-controlled computers, we're going to take a look at how Elon Musk and the technology he is working on today will take us forward, creating the city of the future. Elon says that if you think about the future, you want it to be better than the past. A future that is exciting, and one that people want to be a part of. How will we get from one city to another? It's hard to imagine being able to fly from New York City to Shanghai in 39 minutes, or Sydney to London in 59 minutes. But this is something that is being worked on today by Elon and SpaceX. Elon compares space rockets to airplanes, saying that if you do not reuse a plane, it would cost up to $250 million to fly one way. But because you can use it tens of thousands of times, it becomes affordable. The same is true with rockets. A SpaceX rocket costs about $60 million. If the rocket can be used a thousand times, it then costs $60,000 per flight. And by carrying a number of people, you can get the cost of a rocket flight down to the price of an economy airplane ticket. The Starship is the rocket being developed to take people to Mars, and it can be used to transport people from city to city. In a 2017 interview, Elon Musk said he is looking at this becoming a reality in the next 8 to 10 years. And if you can carry people in rockets, then you'll also be able to carry cargo. So if you live in New York, you can have a package delivered to you from Paris in 30 minutes. Another way of getting packages and goods from one part of a country to another will be by electric semi-trucks. Today, the Tesla Semi still requires a human driver who can enable autopilot. But in the future, you will be seeing entirely driverless trucks pulling into cities, making deliveries, and turning straight around. Making transportation cheaper, which could lower the price of buying things in cities. And electric trucks will be good for the environment as 23% of greenhouse gases comes from the trucking industry. The thought of people traveling between cities by rockets will seem far-fetched by many, even though Elon says it could be only 8 to 10 years away. Another way of getting people from city to city would be by a hyperloop. Elon Musk asks that when you think about a new transportation system, what would you want? Ideally, you want something that costs half the price to travel, is twice as fast, can't crash, is immune to the weather, and is self-powered by solar panels. It would take you two hours by car to get from Dubai to Abu Dhabi, but with a Hyperloop, it would take 12 minutes. Hyperloop stations, or portals, would be inside cities, unlike airports, making it easier and faster to travel around. A number of Hyperloop routes are currently being planned out, and being able to pop up in another city in a matter of minutes would be like a tourist attraction that people would want to visit. Elon says that if you come up with new technology, it should feel like that. Let's move in closer and take a look inside these futuristic electric cities. Most people would imagine cars and drones flying around in a futuristic city, but this isn't realistic to Elon, since flying cars will be noisy, produce a lot of wind, and have a number of safety issues. They will also be affected by the weather. Tunnels might seem like an old, boring technology, but Elon is going to make them a lot more exciting. Why do we have city buildings that are in 3D and a road network that is mostly one level? Elon believes that the solution to urban traffic is a network of tunnels that go deep under our cities, since you can always go deeper than you can go upwards. He says that the deepest mines are deeper than the tallest buildings. So why not have a network of tunnels that go 20, 30, 40, or 50 levels deep, where cars can go up to 200 kilometers an hour as railings guide the car? since your autopilot takes over when you enter the tunnel system. But creating a tunnel is slow and expensive, which is why this has not been done before. What will make having 30 to 50 levels of tunnels possible in the future will be electric and self-driving cars, along with a new tunnel digger. The Boring Company is working on making this a possibility. Elon says that the first thing that needs to be done is to cut down the tunnel size. Tunnels today need to be large, allowing for crashes, emergency vehicles, and ventilation for gas-powered cars. This can all be eliminated by using self-driving electric cars, shrinking down the size of a tunnel to more than half. The second thing that needs to be done is to build a faster digger, one that can dig and reinforce the tunnel at the same time. A trip from Westwood to LAX Airport, which takes 20 to 55 minutes depending on traffic on normal roads, will only take 5 to 6 minutes in a boring company tunnel. 
Elon believes that in 10 years it will be unusual for cars to be built that are not fully self-driving, as they are getting close to being 100 to 200% safer than a human driver. He says that getting into a car will be like getting into an elevator and pushing a button. We used to have elevator operators who controlled the levers and take it for granted that it is all automatic today. It is the falling prices of lithium-ion batteries that is making it possible to see more electric cars and other forms of transport on the streets, along with more houses powered by solar panels. And batteries are what Tesla's main expertise is in. Tesla is building gigafactories. These factories are making lithium-ion batteries along with other parts for Tesla cars and energy products. Elon Musk says that it would take 100 gigafactories to give humanity enough battery capacity to go fully renewable. There are two gigafactories in the United States, with another one under construction in China, and Tesla have just announced plans for another gigafactory in Germany. The future will come from being able to store energy, and the whole world can go renewable with 100 gigafactories. As our cities and lives become electrified, everything will also be connected. This will be because of Starlink, a project by SpaceX. It aims to launch thousands of satellites into orbit, creating a constellation, providing internet access even in places where people don't have internet today. SpaceX launched the first batch of satellites in May 2019. They now have 122 orbiting the Earth and are planning to deploy tens of thousands. And in the long term, a version of this constellation internet will be deployed as a communication system around Mars. Let's take a look at our day-to-day -day lives inside an Elon Musk city of the future. For example, even where we get our food is going to be different in the future. Elon Musk's brother Kimball Musk is a board member of SpaceX and Tesla, and is also a co-founder of Square Roots, a company that is building shipping container vertical farms in cities. As this is a more sustainable and healthier way of growing food, you can find a link in the description below to the video we made on how the future of farming is in our cities. With these city farms, you will be able to get your greens from farm to table in four hours. And Kimball says that the tech being used today to farm food in climate-controlled city spaces will also be used on Mars. Now imagine being dropped off at work in your completely self-driving Tesla car. But it does not have to sit in a parking lot waiting for you. It can go back out by itself, and could even make money for you by picking up passengers and dropping them off. You could schedule when it can be shared and when you need it ready for yourself and you will even have the option of only sharing it with friends and family. That is 100% of what will happen, Elon says. It's just a question of when. But what happens when all driving becomes autonomous? Since the largest employer in the world have people driving in some way such as taxis and truck drivers, Elon says that since there will be fewer jobs that a robot can't do better, a universal income will be necessary, where people are given a set income without needing to work for it. So in a futuristic city where a lot of today's jobs don't exist, what is going to be taught in the schools? Elon Musk created a school. It started out being for his own children and a few children of employees at SpaceX. It's even located on the SpaceX campus and is called Ad Astra, which means to the stars. Elon breaks down education as the downloading of data and algorithms into your brain, which is being done really badly in traditional schools. His method is to gamify learning, the more you can make learning like a game, the better. And if you can explain why things are being taught, it makes a huge difference in a child's motivation. At Ad Astra, they don't make kids go through different grades like an assembly line, since children have different abilities at different levels. They focus on teaching problem solving, such as how engines work. The children explore non-traditional topics such as robotics and artificial intelligence, even studying the ethics of AI. Elon's advice to anyone is to try and learn as much as possible that allows you to predict or create things for the future, since the best way to predict the future is to invent it. And also study physics, especially the thinking process around physics, since it's the best way of understanding our future. So how will kids and adults spend their free time in the city of the future? By playing crazy video games that we can't even imagine what they will be like today. Elon likes to point out that only 40 years ago, the most advanced game was Pong, which was two rectangles and a dot. Today, you have photorealistic games that millions of people can play together. You have VR sets and force feedback gloves. In the future, people will be playing inside games that will be indistinguishable from reality. And even if you slowed the incredibly fast development of video game technology way down, you'd still end up in a world where you won't be able to tell the difference between reality and a video game. This then begs the question, how do we know that this has not already happened in the past? 
How do we know that we are not inside one of those games right now, inside a simulation? Elon says that we are building progressively greater intelligence, and that the percentage of intelligence that is not human is increasing. He compares humans to a bootloader, which is a tiny bit of code used to start up a computer. Elon says that you can think of humans as a biological bootloader for starting a digital superintelligence. So there needs to be some sort of merger between biological and machine intelligence, since we will be too slow keeping up with AI, creating a crisis in the future. It is all about the connection speed between your brain and your digital world. Our output is getting slower. Before, we used keyboards with 10 fingers, and now we use two thumbs on a phone. Elon explains that computers can communicate at a trillion bits per second, while our thumbs can do 10 to 100 bits per second. We made a video, link in the description, that talked about how Amazon's Alexa could be a step in connecting our brains to our digital world. Alexa's voice control has been built into over 20,000 devices, allowing for faster, multitasking commands. For example, as you watch TV, you can ask the Wi-Fi router to turn off just for your children's devices when it's time for them to sleep. But Elon Musk is in a different world when it comes to connecting our brains to computers. He and a team are developing something called Neuralink. Threads and a chip will be implanted into the brain that will communicate to a wearable pod, allowing you to be linked with a computer. So far, a monkey has been able to control a computer with its brain, and Neuralink is petitioning the FDA to start trials with humans next year. In the future, it will enable anyone who wants to have superhuman powers of thinking and acquiring information. So that is what Elon Musk's city of the future looks like, where in under an hour you can travel to any other city in the world. Everything in our cities will be running on batteries, all connected by a constellation of satellites providing internet to everyone around the world. People won't be able to tell the difference between playing a video game and real life, and they will have their brains connected to a computer so that we can keep up with artificial intelligence. Elon explains that the rate of change in technology is incredibly fast, that it is outpacing our ability to understand it. If you said to people watching the Wright brothers making the first airplane flight in 1903, that in 66 years we would be landing a person on the moon, they wouldn't believe you. Elon says that there is one thing that we can be certain of. Any predictions that we make today for what the future will be like in 50 years will be wrong. The owner of TED Talks, Chris Anderson, says that Elon Musk is motivated by two things. One is the desire to work on humanity's long-term well-being, and the other is to do something exciting to inspire humanity. On the next episode of Venture City, we take a look at drones and the businesses that are in our skies. Click on the subscribe button to not miss a video.